How to keep a sleeping baby safe. There are few things more comforting than watching your baby sleep. Unfortunately, we can't be there to witness every single breath. Sleep. Unfortunately, we can't be there to witness every single breath. And there are some things you need to know before you leave your baby alone to snooze. These simple safety tips will help reduce the risk of cot death or sudden infant death syndrome as it's also known. One important thing you need to know is that, for the first six months, it's safest for your baby to sleep in a crib, a cot or a Moses basket in the same room as you. That goes for daytime naps as well as at night. Babies should be placed on their backs to sleep, not on their tummy or side. And your baby's feet should be at the foot of the crib or cot, so they can't wriggle down underneath the covers. Avoid duvets, quilts and pillows for the first 12 months. You don't want your baby to get too hot or risk suffocation. Instead, let them sleep on a firm, flat mattress with layers of thin blankets tucked under their arms. Make sure there is no gap between the mattress and the edge or side of the cot. The mattress should be snug-fitting. Baby sleeping bags are a good option as they stop your little one kicking off the covers. These should be used with just a long-sleeved vest or top underneath. If you do go for one of these, just be sure to pick one up with a TOG rating under 2.5. That's the system that measures the heat of the bag and your baby will need no further bedding. For summer months, or if you're travelling to a hot country, 0.5 or 1 TOG may be sufficient. Lastly, don't be tempted to put a baby monitor in the cot or crib with your baby. Put it close by, but out of arm's reach, or fix it onto the cot. Don't place the cot next to a radiator and make sure the room isn't too hot. 16 to 20 degrees is perfect. And just remember, when your baby's sleeping, you should try and get some rest too, especially in those first few months.